Hello, Mrs. Murder here, and it's been a while, hasn't it? Today we're going to talk about Cuckoo's Calling. It's a new series. We have three books that are written by J.K. Rowling under her pseudonym, for those of you who like Harry Potter. But this is Robert Galbraith. It is an excellent, excellent mystery. You will enjoy it so much. There are three books in this series. Cuckoo's Calling is the first. Silkworm is the second. And the third, as you can tell, I'm going to read all three of them. I've read the first. I'm well into the second, and I thought, oh, got to get my review out. Everybody's losing out. And this one is Career of Evil. These are fascinating. We have a great mystery in these. A mystery writer as well, she's just amazing. He, okay, we'll say Robert. Robert Galbraith is just an amazing. This is the first, the first three books by, by this author in this genre. And it is so exciting. It's so much fun. And he, you don't even know how many red flag, how many red flags go up, how many clues and hints you get, and you'll be reading along, and you go, oh, I mean, oh, and sometimes you get them; they go into the back of your head, and then you go, you realize, you think, well, there's something funny, and then it all resolves itself. It's so detailed, and it's so precise in the way that he solves. The mysteries. Well, this particular one, Cuckoo's Calling, is about a young actress, model. I guess she's more of a model than an actress, but she's had a tumultuous career and she has leapt from her balcony to her death. Her brother calls Cormoran Strike, our hero, our protagonist. He is going to solve this. He wants him to solve this mystery because her brother does not believe she committed suicide. He believes that she was murdered. So Cormoran Strike is a is a army vet or is a vet, not army, but I don't remember what branch of the service. I apologize. I'd have to look back. I'm forgetful these days, which is one reason why it takes me so long to do my reviews. But he is having psych he has psychological problems and from being in the Afghanistan war and he has uh, has had his uh, one, his leg amputated from the knee down which kind of slows him down on all these hikes and there is so much walking around London for him to do to to try to solve the mystery he has to just it's walking walking hiking taking the train and walking and of course he starts out he's his detective agency is failing because he's not getting enough money to keep it running and this young temp comes in to help him robin and she just really she knows the computer she's just really skilled and helpful and helps him get things going he is going to discover the reason why the young actress's brother came to him was because as a child years ago 30 years ago 25 30 years ago he had gone to school with her her brothers the, the brother and his brother and her, and they all knew each other back as children in in um, in england and so he thought he could rely on or rely upon him to help decide who had who had murdered his sister because he's sure she didn't fall to her death and uh, the police it's it has botched investigations and it has it has all kinds of, of twists and turns as any good mystery does you will really enjoy this first book and reading through it one thing I like about about Robert Galbraith is uh, the all of the little like you'll have a page and it has um i choose to steal what you choose to show and you know i will not apologize you're mine for the taking 
I'm making a career of evil. And that's Blue Oyster Cult, Career of Evil, lyrics by Patti Smith. So he has everything in front as a header of each chapter is by different. Here's another Blue Oyster Cult, Lips on the Hills. I've been stripped, the insulation's gone. The, his chapter headings are, some of them are, uh, there's another, another Blue Oyster Cult. This one seems to be a lot of Blue Oyster Cult, whereas we get into some more classical authors later <laughs> as the, in other books. So this is the first, oh, that's a, that's a career of evil. No wonder it didn't look familiar to me. The Blue Oyster Cult. The one I have read so far is uh, the Calling of the Cuckoo's Calling. And there are a lot of very interesting heads. A dirge starts out, but um, in Demum Miser Est, Quis Nobilitas Miserias Nobilitat. Unhappy is he whose fame makes his misfortunes famous. Lucius, Ashes, and Telephus. So you'll have everything from classical writers that are quoted as a header uh, or the head of the chapter. It's just, it's just, it's a romp. It's really fun. So there's Cuckoo's Calling. Then the second one that I'm now into reading, and I hate to put it down, but I thought I better get this first one out, is the Silkworm Silkworm. And it's very strange. Uh, you find out a strange thing about silkworm. It's what is about what they used to do with silkworms. Oh, it's just. But anyway, I'm not going to tell you about that one until the next review. So this one, just pick up, get started with this trilogy. Uh, you won't regret it. Cuckoo's Calling, first one. Pick it up, read it, and just enjoy it is so much fun it's so fascinating and you learn a lot about uh, the detail of to get, find out a point Cormoran Strike our detective will ask a question and then he'll ask it again a different kind a little bit different way and then he'll ask it another different way and you put them all together and it starts showing uh, he, it it makes a point that in, from one perspective, might look one way, but from another perspective, looks another way. And you know, then with different people too, it's it's just really educational as well as as very very much an escape and a lot a lot of fun. You'll love it. So pick it up. A cuckoo's calling. Cuckoo, call it. Pick it up. From Mrs. Murder. Bye for now.